What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 13th ECMAScript tutorial in which I'm going to show you something called as template strings in ES6. Now this is a brand new feature and this is very cool. So what this does is that it brings a lot of features with it like you can finally have multi-line strings without any hacks and uh, there are things like string formatting, then there are there is interpolation and all that techy stuff. So let's get started. Now to write a string, template string, you need to enclose the text in something called as back text. So this is right there for my keyboard. This is on the left of the one, the numeric one on under the functional keys so you have those, those keys like f1 f2 f3 on the top below that you have the, those numbers from running from 1 to 9 and eventually 0 as well and on the left of the one you have these backtick keys you can see there they are not the quotes they are backticks so if you see that they are kind of tilted at an angle so you need to make use of that to write the template strings. Uh, let's just say my variable is hello world. Hey there from ECMAScript 6. And if you try to console log this, hello world, and reload this, you see that it works perfectly fine. So that is a good news. And uh, what you can do with this actually is that you can actually substitute a string. So let's just say you have your name as code dam. Then you can say here, hey there. Then I can say name. How are you doing? So what happens here is that this thing right here substitutes the value of this thing. So as you might have guessed that you can pretty much do a lot of things with this. So if you have a numbers, let me just, just make you this example. So all right, so we get... Um, name only wait a minute all right so I guess I'm missing this thing right here let's reload this and as you can see the substitution occurs so what happens is that you can actually make use of a lot of things like you can have some numbers here as well if I do like 2 plus 5 equals var num1 is 2 num2 is 5 and you can write num1 plus num2 here or as you can see or you can just do like that as well that would work as well so this is kind of gives you a feel of what we had ex <coughs> as expressions in angular so that is kind of a similar thing it's not the same exactly but that kind of gives you the feel of that so you can pretty much do a lot of things here so if you have a function as well function something and return this is the thing now you can actually just call this something as well inside here and this would work perfectly fine so it says me 2 plus 5 equals this is the thing and uh, this kind of you know you can just customize it according to you you can just make use of the methods which are available with strings in here and you can just pretty much do anything you like and yeah so I was talking about the multi-line strings so 
with JavaScript what we need to do is we need to have something like hello what I actually preferred if I had to write multiple lines what I used to do is like my string I used to split it in an array then this is my first line then this this is my second line and so on and so forth uh, after that I just used to join the string so that was my kind of hack but there are other hacks available as well but with these template strings we don't no longer require these hacks so you just have to write my string is really good and can be really long without having any sort of breaks so if I just console log this thing reload as you can see it works perfectly fine so that's how pretty much you do multi-line strings in template strings in ES6 and I'll just limit this tutorial to here because we have a lot of things to do with template strings and uh, I'll cover some of the other things in the next one so if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching